Welcome back to the cross demo. My name is Nilaus and we are back here with a second installment of uh, this demo. Look, it is at the tail end of the Steam Nexus. So if you haven't uh, uh, had a chance to play it, you probably won't be having a chance to play it yourself uh, before the Steam Nexus ends. But this is uh, the reason why I'm doing another episode of the showcase is twofold. First of all, I, uh, there's good feedback on the first one. So lots of people wanted to see more. So let's do more. And uh, second, it is uh, the demo has a lot more stuff to offer that we didn't even get to see in the first episode, such as contracts, how the economy works, how factories work, and uh, sort of some of those things. And I really want to get into that and show that to you. Thirdly, another objective is for you to go to uh, uh, to entice you to go to Steam and wishlist uh, this game, the crust, so that it can get a little more traction and we can help uh, the developers get some more uh, progress on. Uh, uh, on or some attraction and visibility for the game because we love uh, getting more games in the factory genre so let's do what we can to uh, help good candidates to flourish of course lastly if you like it hit the like button subscribe to the channel for more uh, early looks and such you know the drill but let's have a look at this contract thing that popped up at the end of the last episode and then we'll take a start from there Director, one of the few entities capable, oh, as one of the few entities capable of lunar production after the disaster, we hold a unique position. This allows us to secure contracts for basic resources at highly advantageous pricing prices. Considering the most that most production of such resources has shifted to the moon after the explosion, before the explosion, damn, after, before, the semantics. Right now, ASL Corporation is uh, asking us to supply a batch of silicon, not silicone, for the continued production of building materials you can read about it in the contract center. So we have a new contract. I'm gonna click you away a lot of times. I'm gonna clock you away a lot of times. There we go. So here is a contract view. It's very interesting. We have the ones that are available. Then we have the ones that are active. We can have three active apparently. And then we have the ones that are completed, none there. So we start here. This one is accepted for us immediately. Normally we would get one available and we'd have to accept it. But this one's already uh, here. So this is accepted. And then what we can do is here we get some highlights for it. It requires some 30 silicon and we get get some credits and some engineering points as well. Um, when we are available, this is what we get rewards. We get credits, we get relations with them and we get global reputation, which is something that we don't really know what's for. And then we have the engineering points that we get uh, 100 engineering points for 90 turns. That's good. And all we need to do is send that. So we can go to the screen where we can uh, send it. And if we had some, we have zero, but if we had some, we could definitely send it. And then we could just click send and then it will cost us 1000 to send it up but then we would still get the reward for it. So that is uh, where we are, but it doesn't really work like that uh, right now. What else do we have? Let's start up the game. We have to complete the high demand. So that means we need silicon and we also have locate and examine a cargo terminal. That was uh, up here and we got the initial terminal, the wreckage, the distress call, the destroy convoy. Uh, where, where are you going? Uh, start expedition and the cargo truck is idle. Then we'll do resources and you max out that one. There we go. So you're going to go up here. Uh, what we, oh, and then go away. You, little one, you, what are you going to do? Um, this one is, we can't really do anything more here, but uh, since we have arrived at this location, we need to scan in the area around it and see if there's any pings. There's a definitely pings down here. So let's move to that location and then pick up uh, later on from that. Let's forget all about it and go into into the underground. No, the underground map and figure out what is going on here. So we have now uncovered a location up here. Uh, if we can get a hover over it and there 59.7 percent of this location is silicon so this is a great place to set up the next mining location mining get an extractor here and we're going to build it pretty simple to start with there we go and we're going to check what it requires it doesn't require any silicon that's good because we don't have any of those uh, then as we go from here we are going to get into a single regolith factory unfortunately we can only do a single regolith factory but we can uh, certainly prepare it for future endeavors that we can replace it with. Then we're going to be, oh, look at that. It needs uh, some silicon here, three silicon to actually build it. And then we're going to get onwards. We don't know how much it, we're going to get out because the regolith is coming from here, going in there. Then 
the only thing we can do is hmm and then the next one is under production that is a smelting here and we'll get that here and we might want to get another one but this one oh it doesn't require that so let's get some silicon as it looks right now we are actually not able to get any silicon this one we can build this one we cannot build and this one is already built so we could actually if we could somehow skip that uh, we can do that by mining this particular oh no i can't do that because now it, i've already set that otherwise we could skip this step hmm that would have been nice okay so we have to find a way to get some silicon in luckily we have uh, locations here we can go to commerce center we can also we can't do market yet damn hmm so we're gonna have to free up some silicon um that means we are gonna first of all we're gonna have to take these out Uh, this one we can't resell, uh, research or salvage that yet but if we uh, try to work towards the salvage part uh, that's this one salvage and this is in 12 point a million days oh wow that's a lot smelting furnace efficiency don't care about that right now at least and this is the one we want so we're going to put that in but could we also put the little bit of green we have available into something else so if there's something else that needs greens like this one for example um Oh, I wonder if this, if it's one or the other, or it's of, oh, automatic repairs, I want that as well. Uh, anyway, that doesn't help us with that. Expedition control center. That will just eat up the greens, and that's it. That's all we need, uh, because that's a good way to recover more, but that would require us to complete the salvage. Once we have the salvage, we can actually get it. So well, it's just a little bit of waiting, but during the waiting time, we probably have this one available, and you will be scanning there we go move to that location and then we can uh, just uh, uncover it once we're here we have now found the actual cargo terminal then we can start an expedition it's a little bit weird but then send that and then we send it over and we found it Mitra struck near our base you can send a road to this oh that was just uh, randomly that it happened at the same time but this one is getting in there we go we have uh, arrived at this location I cl click through these because otherwise we're going to spend uh, way too much time on just listening to them talk. Uh, Director, Robo has detected severe damage to the terminal. We managed to get an emergency message from the Hope 2, but, re but to repair the terminal and restore communication with the station, we will need to build an expedition center. It will allow us to send drones and repair materials to remote location. To do this, we will have to seriously expand our base capacity. Titanium plates, uh, that's an interesting rolling mill. I will also need to produce if titanium is available component okay so we need to do like titanium plates and components and only after that is a good idea to do that this means this isn't really anything uh, reasonable for us to do so we can start expeditions other places and just see if we can get some materials this one is almost uh, on the site so we'll wait for this one to get here the destroyed convoy and just pick up stuff and come back Unfortunately, I had to disable some or deconstruct some solar panels and some accumulators just to get enough to get this one going. And But it's now going. It gets 11.7 and this one can take 9. So either we need to upgrade this, which I can't do right now, or we need to build two of them, which is the option we're going to choose. So let's get that option. As there. And then uh, this part is also done and I will be getting here. You can go from here to here, add build, and you can go there, build. There we go. And that just makes uh, automatic assemblers as well, or automatic uh, interactions here, uh, splitters, mergers. It very much reminds of Captain of Industry how this works. Uh, this one's getting built because these are just smart concrete and components. And then we should hopefully get some of these resources. This is, oh, we're actually getting a little bit of that. So the first things we need to do about it is, oh, this one got built and I'm going to be getting it back to normal priority. And look at that. We have some things done here. That is excellent. Uh, oh, I can also see someone forgot to remove that part. Weird. Uh, and also that part. Okay, but that's marked now. Not enough to run, but it should be fine. This one then needs to be set up here. And then I need to build a splitter. And the splitters are 
pretty damn simple. It's just simply... Okay. Oh no, that's definitely... Okay, so much for, for me simplicity here. That one. Yes. That one. And then go in. Yes. There we go. And then you can sort of prioritize the star with making it high priority or filter it. But right now it's just going to be evenly spread. And this one is complaining because it doesn't have any resources coming in, but it is not enough resources to produce, but it will get there. And this one, I guess, is the... Ah, uh, yeah, okay, so this is... Yeah. Yeah, we are starting to accumulate some of that. That is perfect. And we are also... Uh, these are full. Good. So now that we have a... I wouldn't say an abundant uh, supply of this, but we do have a little bit. Then I can simply get these in here. Uh, build. And that one in here, built. And that should be built pretty quickly because we're getting the silicon. That's the one thing that kind of prevented us from actually getting anywhere. And that's going to be focused on steel. And once it's done, we have steel in the box. We have concrete in the box. And we have silicon in the box. And we're now working on the next one out here. So this will be... Titanium. Let's get some more space out here because it's getting a little crowded. So let's just make sure that we have... Okay, well, that's something. Oh, look at that. We got a crash site. In the desolate lunar valley, the wreckage of the crashed spacecraft, the cylindrical body and remnant of the solar panel mount suggest it was a satellite disabled in the explosion that fell from the orbit. Scorch marks and signs of extreme heat are evident, um, telling of the catastrophic event that caused the downfall. The scenes is both awe-inspiring and tragic. This dark reminder of the perils of lunar exploration. So we get a lot more science. Great. Cargo ready to unload. I'm just going to smash it down there. That is all the stuff we come back. And now we are starting to get like a really, really sub nice supply of silicon. We want to get the same for titanium up here. And uh, then we get sort of... So here's the thing. This regolith contains 60% silicon. But the rest of it we're not using for anything. Because we're just putting it in here and then we're uh, gaining basically the 60%. And then the rest will just be junk. We also get the slag, which can stack up pretty uh, pretty high. But what if we could sort of get a multi thing so that we could realize all of it? That would mean we'd have many outputs and then we need to deal with those outputs. That is definitely gonna be more complicated. Luckily, that's not something we need to deal with just now. Um, I am going to do this. And then this one is how much silicon or how much was the ratio here? I don't know. We'll, we'll see once we get it. And then I'll get the same. No, that was the extractor. It's the single regolith that goes directly in here. Yep. Mm. No, actually, couldn't I? Wouldn't it be cool if I could build it next to the other one? Maybe that will be helpful later on. I think I'll try that. Single regolith. Let's build that here. Oh, unidentified object. Director, we've detected an object hitting the surface of near our base. Okay. Let's see if we can build it like this. Mm, that feels a little bit too close, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And then the smelting furnace would be also three wide. Yes. Okay, so now what I need to figure out is a way... You're gonna go over there, and you're gonna go over there, and you're gonna go into that one. Yes. Whew. Uh, oh, this one can't do anything, so you're gonna go. And let's get you here. Because there is a fair chance that this needs to go somewhere else. And then I'm going to do. Let's get you to there. Build. And then from here, and bring it in. Build. And then this one needs to be set as a titanium oxide. So the titanium oxide goes in here, and then it goes into this, which will take titan. Oops. Which will take titan. Titan. And we might need two of those as well. I will just build this part down here, so that we get sort of some consistency on pathing. That one. And here to here built and that will also be set like the resource titan good so now that's uh, basically the whole process why are we not getting there oh uh, by the way speaking of the whole process not really because we are we, we've sacrificed our solar power so let's 
build a lot more solar power back up here. You can't build here. I know I can't build there, but I'm gonna, I can try. And I will build these as well. And they should be buildable. We've done a research. We've done a research. Yes, the research now is uh, is the salvaging. So that is amazing because look at all the free resources we get here. And uh, it also helps us on uh, removing stuff. And that we can then build here and then expand this area a lot because I just don't want to be running out of material or I don't want to be running out of power. It's such a bad thing. And these are just claiming it. It just gets one of each of these silicon and we already have a pretty good amount of silicon. So yeah, and that means we should have enough silicon to execute our contract. Go to a contract, contract, send resources. We're going to send all the 30 we have. It costs us 1000. It can easily fit onto one standard cargo pod. Ship it off. Now what happens now is that there will be a dropship coming in. Oh, let's just look at the dropship. There we go. And that now has a storage box. And then we'll see our drones start filling things in there. Larger needs repair. It's fine. Um, this one is pretty good. This uh, Titan build will start working. I don't get why it's not uh, actually working right now. How is... Is it just because... Oh, it's just because we just don't have enough power. Oops. Yeah. Modular repair. Flag it for repairs. Good. And then to look at our research. So we're still working on research. Expeditions. Control center. Yes. Automatic repairs would be nice. Primary processing center. That's the multi-regular thing. That's really nice. Over here, what else do we want? We would like to get some better power poles. Uh, but what else? Lift conveyor, surface scanner. There's a lot of good things. Electric generators. Don't think we want to do that. Let's do one of those. But blue signs is definitely what uh, what is holding us back. Didn't we have something out here that we wanted to do? Uh, yes. Crash site. Start expedition. That's a lot of good resources. Let's set that expedition for a truck and then get resources, max out everything, send it up there. Sweet. And we still have a meteoric uh, landing site. Let's send a rover there to scout and then go back in. It's pretty cool that we can we can do these kind of things. Uh, not enough power to run the modules. That is obvious because we are not only are we creating modules, we are here, there, that helps. We are, oh, we're in the dark area or dark period here. That's no good. That one not here. There. Right, so we have definitely some issues here. Um, we can start just harvesting this because they the robots need to do something. Um, but the main problem is the fact that we are now at the beginning of our... Uh, we don't know how long it takes until we get back into the light but I guess like it's 14 and a half days so we have 16 16 days here that's okay but not great but we're also only able to charge 10 from or discharge 10 from each of these which means I am capped at 70 70 power that means there's a deficit of 43 that's a little bit advanced because I'd like to use 113 but I can only extract from the batteries at a rate of 70 so I have a shortage, that means some things are not working. That means I should be choosing what is not working instead of just being there. Oh, it doesn't use anything. That one's probably right, They're important. And then we can take some of these out as well. And where's the deficit now? Eight. That's okay to have a deficit of eight. Yeah, and that one has been, so maybe we, That one is, that one is the end. Okay, they don't actually, I do have to delete or discharge something else. Anything up top? Mm, this one doesn't take power. This one probably don't want to take that power out or that one. I guess we'll just have to endure that not everything can can work during the night. Let's actually just disable that. Oh, that was the one. That was the one. There we go. Now we have almost enough power. This is working now. Great. The extractor is uh, Bring things out so we'll allow this to do some extraction that will work out 67 titan pretty good 
and there's still a little bit of deficit so something is not working but i don't know what it is and uh, we'll just have to accept that maybe we can even pause this part as well there and yeah we'll pause that for the time being so now we should have a complete complete what we need and we're now filling up this part because there's nothing else for the drones to do and we come in with the last one come on get in the last one and there it is it will fly off and that will complete our first contract and then we'll probably have some NPCs chatting away there we go so new contracts available oh we got a reward here a little bit of money plus some yellow signs good we got a new one malachite heavy industry so what do we have here this is under active so he already accepted this so there's a reward for 60 steel cool we already have 60 steel so that's not a problem let's just send it off immediately doesn't weigh much off we go that's pretty cool because there's nothing else to do during the night because i'm not building new stuff so let's uh ship them off and the modules are offline because it's night time There we go, we got the objective achieved and uh, from the contract, so we completed the contract. And then we get another contract, so he has already a crisis, smart concrete. So we need 75 plus, um, let's see, do we have that? We have almost enough of this already. And we get more global reputation, we get more relations, we get more credits. We got all stuff, look at that, bonus plus 50% or 50% if we do it in within 45 days, I will do that. In the meantime, we also have another quest uh, popped up that says uh, Fundamental Science Lab, if we can uh, try to get that done. And we have the meteoric landing site that we are getting to. We also, while it's still nighttime, I'm trying to build some solar panels because, well, you know, if we can build the solar panels now, then let's get on with it. And yes, we get director. more science. Roll, and you are just need to stop talking. So this is uh, pretty good. Uh, we are still like really running low on power, but that's okay. We should be seeing daylight coming in and we should also be seeing uh, this getting back into action. And then uh, we should also be going over to the batteries and then getting a few more of these. Now I'm just going to make it in the same pattern as it was before. This will be consuming quite a lot of materials, but there is no doubt that it's worth it. And I can just do this. This is much easier for these because they can have three intersections instead of just two for the solar panels so that's much easier to wire that one up but as soon as the light comes on we should have monstrous amount of power we can switch everything back on again and daylight is coming in look at that finally we have enough power let's get some of those offline modules back online basically all of them because we need it there we go online module needs repair that's fine and over here we get the titanium module back online this one uh, it's actually flowing in already so that's good and this is producing 13 so we do really need an extra titanium modules there we go let's get that and then hook it up with some belts as we did before here build and from here build oh that looks so neat compared to the other one and then the only thing we're missing is the power line from you to you there <clears throat> so that's also working what we can do now is this part we can upgrade the speak by 50 percent then it's producing 20 that would go in and produce 20 here but it since this is only, can only consume 20 there is really no point in doing that uh, in order for us to do that we would have to get the research somewhere um that primer oh no we forgot that uh get you up that is single regular upgrade two i want that interesting we have a single reg oh yeah upgrade and the rolling mill is something we've been told oh look at the science we get a massive boost of science from that location great components factory that's something we've been told to get so let's uh, add those as well we are not getting anything that requires greens kind of unfortunate but hey, that is what it is this is auto repair that's right really nice then we get the primary processing i don't know if that's what we need right now single regular upgrade seems to be more valuable and let's take these two out and get you back in and then these two uh, anything over here that we really really need that would be nice but not really now we can do deal with that what we do have up here is that has completed there's a distress call mm, it's close so let's go and distress call that and we should have something come back this one will be set to titan 
And what about our miners? Let's have a look at how they're doing. Uh, they don't have as much left to do right now as they used to. So there's a what aluminium deposit. Okay, well, let's start working our way into that one. Uh, do we have the hard material mining? I can't remember. But let's get into that one. And then also get this one as well. Because we're definitely going to need that. If we look at this location, it has some titan and silicon as well that we need to deal with at some point. Margin is repair. We need to get rid of this. Uh, uh, or we need to get the automatic repair, which is 99% chance. There we go. 100%. That will be automatic repairs coming in. There we go. Automatic repairs. It's really funny that when it pops up this, it doesn't tell us what it is that it uh, it's, it's doing. And here we go. Our power supply is great. And now I think it's time for us to try to work on the, uh, yeah, on the missions or on the commerce center here. So you are going to go in here. So if we can complete it in this time, we get extra bonus resources. I like it's going to be 75. We only have 39 and we have a 70 smart concrete and we need 50. So all I need to do now is wait until I have 75 and then send it off. We've detected a faint emergency signal coming from a point not far from away from us. I'm James Sullivan, a, a station employee. Three of us. We got, we've got food and water, base four and five are depressurized. We need repairs, materials. We need help. Interference is making it difficult to pinpoint the exact location according to the registration data. And the area should be located short range radar station number CH23. Exact location scanner with rover. And that means we go out here and the rover needs to go up and scan. There, that's Charlie. And we scan around and we'll see where there's a ping. There's a ping upwards here. So let's move in that direction. Now we have enough to complete our mission here. So let's uh, complete this. And then we'll be going to be sending resources, the silicon maxing out and the concrete maxing out. And there's still plenty of space in a cargo pot. So we only have to pay 1000 for one cargo pot. And there we go, we are going to send it off. That means the drones will be get super busy with trying to get it in here. In the meantime, we have a U. Um, oh, that's a cargo truck, it has nothing to do right now. We got, we found Charlie. Start an expedition with the rover and scan it. And then it, it just needs to complete. There we go. I'm James Sullivan, station manager of Charlie 23. Thank you for finding us. Now we need your assistance in repairing the station and preventing further destruction. Our urgent requirements is industrial materials, which we used to get from Evergreen. But the facilities are no longer reachable. Though we have ample food supplies, repairing the station must take precedence as the damage is jeopardizing its integrity. We'll send you a list of required supplies. And then this is actually what we need to deliver to them. Yeah, okay. I can we can kind of do all of that. Requires two robots. Ouch, that is so expensive. I don't even know if it's worth it. Either way, I'm gonna send an expedition here instead and figure out if I want to sacrifice so many robots for that. Oof. This expedition here. 50 plus 15. I mean, I think we have all of it. I'm not sure we have the components though, because we don't have a component factory yet. Well, uh, this is being sent off. So once that's sent off, then we can consider if we want to uh, set that expedition up. So here's a, an interesting thing that we can waste money on. I mean, spend money on, for example, production speed. We can get use 25,000 credits to get a 50% production speed. We are at uh, 20 now, and then we're at 30. That's just upgrades. We can do another one if we want to here. We are now getting 30 inbound, which means this accumulates. So I need to upgrade this as well. I can spend 20,000. That means we now consume 40 and output 23. Well, that's more than we have out here, but at least, you know, it, these are working as they are right now. So I can also upgrade and I can upgrade this. That's cost us a lot of money. We basically don't have any money left, uh, but we are also now producing these in much higher quantity. Uh, I really wanted to do the same thing over here, but now I realize that I can't do that. Oops. Uh, this is producing 12 uh, and 20 inbound. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Uh, but we can always just take another iron deposit if we want to and then merge it in here. And then actually, if I get this one, this can give be a 100% boost. Sure. Then I am going to take... There you go. Contract completed. Great. And I will be doing from here. Oh no, I don't want to. Uh, 
here and there build that contract completed and we get 30,000 so that's perfect that's just what we were looking for and I will now be hooking this one up as well so that should be getting more into this and this is already updated this can take 40 it'll be taking 20 from each of these and then it is going to be producing 24. Ooh, additional drones. Thank you. And okay, so what is it? Reorganization parts. Ooh, components. We don't have components, but we'd like to get components. It's about time. And let's try that. And again, now we're sort of picking up on the factory elements here. That's going to build. And that one is getting built. There. So that's now getting bigger. This is. Nope. Let's get out of this view. This is producing 24, and each of these can handle 9 plus 9 plus 9. That's 27, so it's all good. Research completed. What else do we want? Well, we do need the component factory. And you're doing the rolling wheel, and you should be doing the component factory. So I'm... Well, you're almost done. Okay. So we're going to let, let that complete, and then go on to the component factory afterwards. Damn. Uh, what about over here by social? None of these are going to be useful because they don't serve purpose. So even though we get some greens, then there's no really no reason to do the greens here. Uh, that one is done, but all the other ones are kind of a little bit useless. Lift for conveyor belts. I don't know. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get this one as well. Let's start this expedition and see if it, it can work. Uh, we're going to send the truck and we're going to do resources. And then we're going to max out the resources. Um, does that even work? Expedition center. Oh, we don't have an expedition center. Well, that's kind of a good reason why it's not working. Uh, cargo part is ready for landing. Oh, right. Those are the extra drones. Sweet. They are coming in. And that gets us some extra drones. We have 14 drones. Nine of them are working as, as drone things. Let's have a look at what this mission was. This is the active one. And we have good resources here. What is it we want? 30 components and I only have 21 of those you know there is a good opportunity for us to actually just uh, harvest some of this and then we actually get enough these big ones have tons of that in in there uh, well not tons of them okay so here's a, a choice a little bit frost punk ish uh, lunar incident has shaken the trust of the Eurasian nations in crust um, and its initiatives. In response, these countries, in collaboration with the Malakit Concern, have developed the Aurora, an innovative aerospace project. We have we've been approached by representatives from this project who offered us the opportunity to participate as a resource supplier with terms highly beneficial to us. However, this development has stirred up the controversy among IEF activists who are concerned about the potential environmental impact of establishing new dirty industries and launching rockets from earth atmosphere reached out requesting our support for a protest campaign yeah screw protest campaigns progress before all great and does that mean oh damn we need now more quests what do you want you want a lot of that and a lot of that do we have that actually yes and yes all right cool let's send this off immediately so you can see we can actually uh, make a lot of money and get literally busy with these kind of things quite rapidly we need the component factory but i think we actually have enough components now yes so we have enough components to complete the other mission as well but now they're going to be sending in here luckily we have a lot of drones uh, working and the miners are not busy anymore so get more mining done always more mining we can't have them idle so let's just uh, just have them do stuff. Maybe they'll uncover something interesting while they're out here. And I'm probably going to regret it as soon as I find something and realize that I need a little more space. So, but anyway, this is the idea of this is just keep them busy all the time. And we are draining a little bit on our smart concrete, but that's okay. They still have like tons of stuff inbound here. So they are continuing. And if we look at this, this is... Oh, that's actually interesting that it goes... I actually like it to go from there. Can I just... Let me try and delete that. Uh, that's kind of funky. Build. There. I think that's better. 
because now it should be splitting three ways. Oh, this one doesn't have any recipes, then of course it's not going to work. There we go, but we're going to get strong supply of iron coming in. Uh, this one is kind of being drained, so that's okay. Um, the only thing we don't have anything is aluminium, and then of course also component factory, but the component factory is still in progress, 79%. Let's make the expedition center. We're even though we're in the middle of the night, uh, let's make it here. It's going to take a lot of power and it's also going to take a lot of other resources. But let's uh, smash it down here and get some power lines from here to there. Right. And okay, these are what are they? What are they waiting for? None of resources to repair. Well, that's just because it's lazy because they're working on this part here. So we need to get more of this in. Oh no, I want this one actually to be first priority. So when I decide that I want this, I want this done. Because right now, I really don't want this to be built at first. I want this completed. Let's see if we can get this one completed first. Or if it's always... Like, priority is a little bit wonky. That's kind of okay. It'll, it'll get better. I want to see if we go back to doing this. It does not look like... It looks like this is going to take pres uh, precedent. And... 14, if we subtract 14 here, then we do not have the 30 we need. That means we do need to get the component factory that we are researching now. Research complete. There we go, we got the research completed and this one is still working to get all of this stuff in. I am not sure I have enough concrete, do I? No, I know, don't, but almost. Um, so the research complete was, I have no idea, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, over here by engineering, let's also get the Rare elements, don't think we need that. Uh, oh, that one, that one. Smart concrete would also be nice, it's so much cheaper. Smelting furnace efficiency. Uh, these are waiting for repairs. That's kind of obvious because things are kind of working. These are working slowly, but uh, we definitely don't have enough. So the next thing we want to do is take a look at a component factory. So a component factory that must be under production, a component factory. You're going to need steel and titan. And let's get you down here. Yep. And that will get you a storage afterwards, like that, which will be filtered to components. And you are a component factory. And then I'm going to get a belt out here into that build and a build from out here. There. Pretty good. And also... Oh, that's not it. There. And that is done. And this is requiring none of the other things. So we now have way too many things that, uh, that are being... that are in progress. This one is eating all the concrete. Uh, that's the only thing missing here. So concrete goes in here. And unfortunately, the concrete also needs to go in here, but you know, well, you can't do all of it at once. Do they do it? Can I get concrete from some of these? Yes, some of them can actually kind of get a little bit of concrete from. Slowly and surely, we've built our expedition center, and I'm sure that something will happen as we build it. There we go. Not enough power to fuel it. That's because this is not powered. Oh my god, that's typical. Yeah, it's still uh, lacking the concrete, so that's still not working. Uh, are they going in here? Yes, they're now going into this one. It's a little bit weird which ones they choose, but uh, we need to get all of them done. So uh, down here we have this part being done. Uh, the funny thing is we actually can't really do any power uh, or any more belts because we're just not getting there. This one is done now. Good. That means we can actually just replace this line with that line up here and also oops that was definitely not the right one yeah this is a complete mess but whatever it works these three are now working eventually i will get the 12 in here i will get the 22 in here and i'll get the 12 2 in here uh, also the stuff for repairs uh, it'll get in there but first it's about getting this one apparently There we go, we have reached the Fundamental Science Lab. Greetings, Director Wilfried. Wilfried? 
uh, has spoken highly of you, and I'm relieved to see a fellow survivor from the incident. Regarding your question, the, the ground portion of our complex did suffer damage and were expended considerable amount of resources on repair. So our answer is a tentative yes, we could use some supplies. However, at the moment, we're not in immediate peril. Find out the status of the other lab uh, as we could speak about the collaboration further. Okay. Okay, so what that means is basically that he is incentivizing us to go to the next lab. So let's just uh, do that sequence of events. There you go, so that goes here. We can now actually send up an expedition to here. Um, start expedition. Cargo truck. Could we also send to the other ones? Nope. What about to the cargo terminal? No. But we can do for Charlie. And then the question is, do we want to send 80 of those now? Nope, not uh, while we're still working. So that's going to be a hard no for now. He can wait a little longer. And so we're now completing the mission. That took a little bit of uh, time because we kind of got 150 uh, smart concrete distraction. Contract completed. We got some money and we got it uh, before. Whew, that's uh, 150 of those and I think that's not really a big deal. Um, this one is 30 of those. I'd like that, but no. Um, what about you? Can I send this? Yes and yes. Oh, absolutely. Let's send it. Send and send. And it's still within the confines here, so we can send it on one. And that means they're going to be keep sending stuff up here. Still have many more things to do. Uh, this is still going to get in progress. And uh, you can see that it's slowly getting in here. That one as well. Oh, research completed. We're starting to get like pretty much all the research that we want. And another contract is happily completed now at the, of course, the expense of uh, of sort of uh, progress in our base because uh, because they've been busy delivering stuff, then I haven't been doing this one. But every time we do a contract, we get more money, 54,000 because we completed it so damn fast and we get more contracts but we probably shouldn't be doing like all of those contracts at the same time uh, i really need you to actually get your um, <clears throat> shit together um, we are also i've had to turn off a few things during the during the night but that's okay they are they're coming back online i want really want this one to come in because we do have it here 26 yes so we have everything we need and i see that they're coming in so we want to get that component factory going and we want to get this one going as well. So once we have that, we can actually complete the next contract and also start sending things out because we need components for uh, progressing. There we go. This one is working and we are, this one is also working. Great. So now the last one that needs to be buffed up is here. Oh, right. Of course, power poles. How embarrassing that is. And uh, let's get that, get that and get that. Yeah. Good. So this one will be powered eventually. Actually, I don't think I need this uh, prioritized right now because there isn't really a whole lot. Oh, these. Ah, right. I also expanded my power. So these do need to be higher prioritized so that they get ahead of all of the other infrastructure we need. All right, we've encountered a little bit of a bug here. And uh, no matter what I set this priority for, it does seem to prioritize getting... No, actually not. This did seem to prioritize them, but it didn't. This one, you're done. You should be working. You should be building something in here. We got research completed. Pretty much anything we want is now uh, unlocked. New contracts are available. We have this one. And this is the... Oh. What happened to the other contract? Oh, there we go, that one. How many do we need? We would only have 20 of these and we only have five days to complete it. Oh no. All right, well, let's um, hope that this gets really quickly done. Uh, there, is there any way that I can get extra? Because I need to get to 30. <laughs> ah, that sucks. There's no way of upgrading, there's no way of boosting, there's no way of doing anything. So we'll just have to wait for this one to complete. We've now located all the three science labs and they are all happy. Uh, if we look here, that gives us the opportunity to start expeditions. And if we start an expedition here, we get 
200 uh, social science points or we get 200 fundamental science points uh, but they cost a lot but it's for 90 days so those are basically just uh, ways for us to sort of manipulate our science ourselves and here's a paid lab let's uh, send a scout rover over to that location and just figure out what uh, what's going on in the meantime let's have a look at this one this is uh, halfway done and it is on 29 so let's uh, have a look at uh, uh, at this one as soon as it hits 30 components we are going to go in here get our mission here send unfortunately we are not getting the full value of it research. because we're a little bit too slow a little bit <laughs> way too slow and we also got a research completed i have no idea what we got researched but we got something researched Oops, that one is done well, so um that means now there will be a flurry of activity to hit this up here and basically i think we're at a, at a point where we are really just seeing the uh, the essence of the game in the current form we built these uh, supply lines down here obviously this one can be done a little better if we look at the research there's also an underground belt which i didn't get to unlock but for example when we need to build this two of those next to each other because this is ridiculously slow then uh, we would need to make some kind of more clever build here uh, and we can just continue it's such a nice game and uh, there's the idea that we are limited in space and we sort of have to work on uh, on extending the space requirement is uh, super interesting so i think that that's going to wrap up my coverage of the demo for now i'll be uh, back when this game hits early access and then we'll take another deep look at this thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and be sure to uh, go to steam and wishlist the the crushed there so you can uh, we can we can help the developers get more successful so we can get more awesome factory games thank you for watching until next time take care and as always stay effective